definitely can't see, but they're labeled D and C. I'll probably put like an arrow right around now. Um, oh, three pads, data, clock, and ground. So I'm just gonna cut up those wires and solder them to the board. And bam, they're all soldered up. So I have this lead here. That goes directly to the ground pin of the battery. And then the gray and the white wires are very precariously soldered onto the D and C connectors, onto the, uh, or pads onto the board. Um, be careful with this because those pads are really small and you want to make sure you're not shorting anything out. All right, so uh, first thing, I've connected this ST-Link programmer to my computer using this USB extension cable. And right now I'm going to visit this website over here, which is dronegaragebloggedwordpress.com. Um, I'm gonna put that into the link of the description. But, so we go there, and then hopefully, H8 mini open source firmware with Acro mode. Um, it should give like the downloads for the software because when I plugged in this programmer here, uh, Windows wasn't able to find any drivers. So I'll keep you updated. So I scrolled down a bit and then I found software download and I have to get all of those files. So I think I'm just gonna make a new folder on my hard drive, call it like, I don't know, a cheap brush quad project, something like that. And then I'll just download all of those and yeah. Okay, so here I am. Um, I'm on the ST download, which is some sort of like microcontroller thing. Oh great, and I can just download it. So we'll go here, and then I made a new folder called micro quad project, micro quad files. And I'll save that. And that's downloading over there. So I think we're good. So to install those drivers, um, you're going to navigate to wherever it is that you downloaded it. So in my case, it's going to be under micro quad files, and then over here, so this ST link, uh, unzip that, and then you're going to be left with this, this folder here, go in, and then if you have a 64-bit machine, you're going to uh, run that executable. If you have a 32, run this one, but I have 64, so I'll just run this one, and then it'll just take you through the wizard. And then you're done. So um, next thing you're going to want to do is download the, um, it's called Kyle Uvision. It's basically what compiles and uploads the code. So you're just going to search for like arm Kyle. And then you're going to get here, MDK version 5 Kyle. I'll put the link in the description. And then you're going to want to hit download and install. And then this one here, download, oh, yes, download MDK core. And then you're going to have to fill out your information here. So I'll just do that off camera. Okay, so now that that's finished, we have to install um, a support pack that lets us use different processors. So that's going to be this one over here. You're going to go here and search for ArmKyle Legacy Support. And then, yeah, MDK version 4. I'll put that as a link as well. And then you're going to want to download this one here. Download legacy support for Cortex-M devices. And then that's just going to save. And then you're going to need this too. So head over to GitHub, Hackercopter, JXT385. So I know that this is JD385 and not um, Clipson X4. That's okay, you're going to need that anyways, because there's one file in here, um, this this entire folder. Uh, anyways, you're going to need that, so just download that zip and save that over there. And you're going to need one last thing. So you're going to head over to this website here, and don't know exactly what that does. I'll put a link in the description. And then you're going to have to save this too. So, find the... Yep, there we go. So, uh, yep, that's really quick to download. So, And then the last thing you're going to want to do is head over to the GitHub, which has um, the firmware for it. So, yeah, blah, 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 of that files. So we're just going to go here to download zip. And, bingo, so you got that. Bradway X4 Master. So, yeah, that's under microcode, so we can save that. 
And that's going to download too. Oh, still downloading the, uh, the thing. And yeah, there we go. So there's the firmware. Make sure it's the correct firmware. Um, I think the one that I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure this one has both auto level and accurate, so that's pretty good. So after that's finished downloading, you're going to be left with this file over here, mdk518.exe. So we're going to run this and then click yes. Um, so this is going to install this thing. Be sure to read all of that. I, I can read really quickly. Yep, so we're done. And then uh, you're going to want to find where you're going to install this. So yeah, that's all right for me. Microcod, then mb 5 ide Oh, I should probably uh, bleep that out. And that's just going to install that for you. So um, this part might take a while. And finish. Okay, so that should have finished installing uh, Kyle Uvision 5. So that's great. It's going to open up this window here, which is your pack installer. So um, you're going to want to let that do its thing. It's installing um, the packs that it comes with. Okay, so now that that's done, you're going to want to go over here to New Boton, uh, New Micro Family, Mini 51. And then you're going to find. Okay, so you have to look on the bottom of your HubSend flight controller board. If it says 2.2, then you're going to click on the Mini 54 ZAN. If it says version 2.3, click on the Mini 54 ZDE. These two are basically the same processor, but they're different versions. Um, either way, at this moment, I don't think it matters uh, which one, but you're just going to hit here, go to install. But you're going to have to remember which processor is on your board. Okay, and that's done. So you can see we have the new Vuitton packs up to date. So you can close that. And now, um, yeah. Okay, so now you're going to run this one over here, mdkcm518.exe. So run that. Hit yes. And... Okay, that's over here. So this is going to be your legacy device port. So next, I can read it really quickly. Um, make sure you select the same um, folder as you installed your other one, the the, uh, the actual IDE to. And then I have to bleep this part out. And we let that install. Okay, so that's done. And you know what? Yeah, we can just hit finish. Okay, so that's done installing. And just when you thought you're done, we're not. So we have to get this file over here, 3581.zip, um, cut that, go into where you installed the IDE, so MD5 IDE, then you're going to go to ARM, flash, and then you're going to paste this in, and you're going to uh, extract here. So there are already files in here that are in here, so you're just going to replace all of them. And now that that's done, uh, we're good. So, we can just go back. Beauty. Okay, so you have clock, dat, and ground. Those are on the HubSense board, the, that's the one that we soldered. And then SW clock, SWDIO, and ground. So those are on the programmer. So those three wires there, I have to connect them to the programmer. And if you can see over there, you have SWDIO, ground, and SW clock. You can't see, but it's out of focus. But I mean, believe me, they're there. So I'm gonna connect those to those pins there. Great, so now you're going to open up your U-Vision, Kyle U-Vision 5, <laughs> and um, so you're going to want to do this. Go project, open project, and then it's it's in this one here, JD385 documentation master, and then Kyle Flash Tools, and then this one here, jdxhawk.uvprojects. Open that. So what's great about that is that it's completely empty, but you have to open that one because it doesn't work with any other. I don't know why, but yeah, so you're going to do that. 
Next, you're going to want to go Project, Select Device for Target, and then this is where you have to remember um, what processor your board has. So since mine is the version 2.3, I do MO54.ZD. Okay, and then you're going to want to go Project, Options for Target, Debug, change this to ST-Link, but you have to go into Settings, and then Flash Download. Uh, this usually isn't there, so what you do, you go add, and then scroll down until you find M054 16KB flash AP. So, uh, yep, that's good, add. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is hit this debug over here. My, okay, yeah, that's okay. So, my Hubsen and my, um and my ST-Link programmer aren't connected to my computer right now, but I'm going to show a picture of what you're going to do. And so you're just going to hit debug, enter that little command into the command line, and then those three or four buttons. So um, you have to be careful though, because this step will erase the firmware on your Hubsan, and there's no way of getting it back until some dude at Hubsan gives it back to us, like a hex file. But um, basically, after you do this step, you're going to brick your hubs in. So, yeah, do it at your own risk. So, that basically erased the, the hubs in chip. So, next, you have to open up a new project. So, you go project, um, open project, and then this is going to be your Brad VX4, <coughs> the actual files that you're going to put on. So, bradwx4.uvproj, open that, and yes, that's going to be, these are all your, uh, these are all the files that you have for Bradwee. So, um, if you want to do any configurations, you're going to go here to app, and then configx4.c, so double click that, and it'll open up this, and then here you can adjust stuff like your PIDs, your different modes, and uh, LEDs and stuff. So yeah, that's great. So now that everything's connected, you're just going to um, want to hit here, download. And again, since mine isn't connected, it's giving me this error, but uh, it should work. And that'll load onto your hubs then. Okay, so here's the quad. I'm going to unplug the ST link because I think I'm done with that. Plug the battery. Plug the battery back in, I guess. Ooh, lights are flashing. It's giving me a slow flash. I guess I'll turn on my controller. They're blinking in like some sort of circular pattern. Now they're blinking quickly. I think I need to arm it. But I think I have Bradway on here now. Okay, now it's armed. Oh my god. I can't believe I've done it. Okay, I'm gonna go unsolder the uh, these wires here, and then I'll go test it out. Okay, so Bradley is definitely on here, so that is a huge success. So, um, I'll just take you through some of the initialization procedures or something. Um, quick note before, I've removed the LEDs on the side to save power, um, reduce weight, blah blah blah. wanted to make a more efficient frame. So I'm just going to plug in the battery. Um, so those two lights are flashing. Well, they were flashing before. Now they're blinking side to side. That means um, no transmitters connected. So I'll turn this on. Now they're kind of doing that thing. Pretty sure that means it's calibrating accelerometers. OK, so now it's blinking like this, which means that it's connected but not armed. So uh, since it's not armed, you can do whatever you want with the throttle, and it's not reacting at all. So to arm it, what you're going to want to do is find this button here. It's the throttle down trim. Hold it for a second, and then the transmitter will beep, and then let go. And now the lights have gone solid, which means that it's armed. So um, right now there are two modes to it, I guess. There's the, um, the beginner mode. And then just like the old firmware, if you push down this stick, now it's in expert mode. 
Um, sadly, both of these modes are self-leveling, but I'm gonna see about getting acro mode onto here. So what you're gonna wanna do, just set that down. Um, I'll try to film it between my legs or something. So this is on beginner's mode. And it's pretty similar to uh, what it was before. So now I'm going to switch it into expert mode by pushing the uh, the right stick down. And now she's much more squirrely. Whoops. But uh, yeah, she's much more squirrely. Um, the level, maximum level, I guess, has definitely been increased. Because you can, like, move this around so much, and it's just, like, crazy. But, um, uh, I found that pushing down the right stick, uh, sorry, left stick, it doesn't do anything, whereas in the old firmware, I would disable flips. But, uh, with Bradway, you lose flips, but that's okay, because I guess you get acro mode. So, um, I'm gonna see about, um, getting acro mode on here.